uh, it's, it's our pleasure to uh, have opportunity to, to, give, to have a talk to mark the retirement of Professor Sir Henry Badesha. 1958, uh, Chairman Mao says, take rents as the cleaning and as the steel, the cleaning. In 2018, President Trump says, if you don't have steel, you don't have our country. So during my stay at the University uh, and of Cambridge, uh, not only gained some knowledge, uh, experience and management and on, on steels, but also enjoyed my stay uh, every night uh, at Cambridge. As the peer says, Qin Qin de wo zou liao, zhen ru wo qin qin de nai, wo hui hui yi xiu, wo dai zou yi pian yin cai. As the uh, peer uh, Xu Zi Mo says, Ken Badesha make many academic visit to the Wuhan University of Science and Technology. Every time he is the keynote speaker talk okay, uh, on every symposium, conference, or seminar. This is uh, 2007, we have organized the International Hub Scientists who have on materials. Uh, in the meter of the photo, you, you can see Professor Heidi Badesha always in the uh, meter seat of uh, the photos. My topic is about the magnetic field induced fantastic phenomena of phase transformation in spheres. Um, in traditional, traditional opinions, the matrix in spheres, such like bainite, ferrite, um, uh, 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 etc., they are all ferromagnetic. So if if the high magnetic field was applied on them, the significant influence will happen. So the next slides will show what we have done on the, these fields. The first about the, the, the acceleration in benetic transformation under the magnetic field about 12 Tesla, the, the binite volume, uh, volume fraction increased. And uh, this table shows the binite ferrite um, volume uh, increased such like without the magnetic fields is about 15 uh, fraction. Under the magnetic fields, it increased to 44. Uh, part, and 44. So that means that on the magnetic field promotes the um, benite, the benitic transformation. So uh, uh, the other phenomenon is about the carbon content in benite, in benite, trans, in benite by EPMA. So. Um, uh, we found, uh, finally, we found that the carbon constant benite ferrite uh, under the magnetic field in decrease. So it means that the um, magnetic field decrease the carbon content in benite. And what, uh, why, why it happens? So we, uh, from the uh, thermodynamic opinion, we draw the deep spray energy with the, uh, with the constant of carbon. We found that when the magnetic field was applied, reaching a new para-equilibrium condition, the carbon constant profile that evolves during the growth of benetic ferrite with and without the magnetic field is shown in figure B. According to the calcul calculation results of fixed second law of diffusion, the value of uh, the value of Z uh, is means here the transi transition point um, subject Z zero is very close to the width of film like written austenite. 
another very interesting uh, phenomena is about the molten site. So uh, under the magnetic field, we found that the, the ex ex external field retard the recovery of molten site, such like this picture. The, uh, uh, the, the molten site is very different from the, 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 the figure A. So uh, this, uh, we get, uh, we draw the uh, schematic illustration describing the low angle boundaries, high angle boundaries and molten site lengths on the different magnetic field. The right picture shows that the low angle boundaries increases. So we do the EPMA to prove that. Finally, the uh, low, uh, the, the misorientation angle um, about uh, uh, from five to 10, the uh, percentage increased by 8%. So this is, this is the reason we can explain why the uh, the external, why the external uh, field retard the mountain site recovery. It is very interesting to figure out that the magnetic field, the magnetic field promote the um, paralytic um, spheral organization. So this is the fir the first picture shows that uh, the the para the para paralytic paralytic the paralytic sphere organization. Um, so uh, for example, the interlayer spacing under the magnetic field, the spacing increased to increased about sixty nanometers. Um, so we give a simple calculation about the different magnetic moment about uh, ferrite cementite and uh, um, give, a, give a, a general illustration about uh, the different thermodynamic uh, mechanism. The, the other very interesting phenomenon is about the austenite. It should be that the austenite in our experiment, it should be the paramagnetism. So um, the external field has no influence on them. But in fact, um, the red point or red area represents that the um, fraction of the resistant, the austenite, it uh, increased compared with the, uh, with the resistantite uh, uh, fraction uh, without the magnetic field. It means that in our experiment, the resistant austenite uh, volume fraction increases why that happens, it makes no sense. So we did the different, uh, different experiments such like XRD, such like EBSD to prove the first result that the magnetic field reduces the lattice parameters of the BCC matrix. And the different experiment shows that the magnetic field promotes austenite form form uh, formation, sorry. Uh, because of the uh, mechanism in our experiment, the mechanism uh, shows the anti-ferromagnetic uh, characteristics. So um, we found that if the um, mechanism comes to the crystal lattice of austenite, the whole magnetic moment will change. 
Mm, of course, the magnetic, the magnesium, the the re, the the uh, influence of the magnetism um, is uh, very complex, complicated, complicated. We just give three um, modeling from um, B, C, D. Uh, one, uh, Okay, so uh, just uh, give the three models to um, get the thermodynamic um, result. Um, and uh, finally, we found that the addition of the magnetism into the austenite, the, um, the magnetic uh, dips free energy will decrease uh, significantly. Another interesting Thing is about uh, precipitations. Similarly, uh, the alloy carbides such like M6C, um, it, uh, in general idea, it should be paramagnetism. But in our experiment from A to B, the, much, uh, the precipitance represents much this denser. And uh, we use the uh, we use the small angle neutron scattering at Ansto in Australia to uh, get the result. Uh, from this result, the magnetic field under the magnetic field the size we, uh, uh, increases and the vo volume increases as well. So. Um, not only the alloy carbide, but also the uh, cementite. It is supposed to be that if the silicon is high, uh, the, uh, the silicon will retard the precipitance of the cementite. But in our experiment, under the mag magnetic field, the cementite uh, 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 comes out. So this is the mm, characterization of the cementite they use the carbon replicas. And uh, the other very interesting phenomena is about the, um, the, the, uh, the carbide precipitants uh, and the dislocation. First, the precipitates here um, under the magnetic fields, it shows much dense denser under the high temperature. And uh, the, the dislocation here, uh, the dislocation pile up, um, it uh, means that the uh, external magnetic field significantly increases the number density of the carbides and the dislocation density. Um, so the magnetic field decreases the gyps free energy of cementite and then decreases the nuclear barrier. S hence, the number density of cementite decreases by approximately 2.42 times. The high number density of carbides doubles the dislocation density according to the larger critical on pioneer stress, which results in a dislocation pile up in front of the carbides. Uh, um, why that happens, we get the um, semen con uh, contentative explanation. Um, the magnetic field will influence the magnetic uh, moment directly. So uh, the, the binite martensite alloy carbides, tran transition carbides, cementite is, uh, are all ferromagnetism. 
not only at the absolute temperature, but the service temperature. Temperature. So what we should do, what's the key point is uh, the magnetic free energy and the uh, chemical free energy, which is much uh, um, predominantly than the other. Um, so no matter how the um, how the benight the the um, the mountain side the uh, pyrolytic um, uh, the pyrolytic um, uh, sphere reorganization the 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 essence of the phase is the uh, is regarded as ferrite so we calculate the different deep spiral energy worth temperature. Um, given the different modeling, we find that the thermodynamic of uh, thermodynamic mechanism of uh, ferrite um, by the external magnetic field is uh, significantly decreased than the other phases. Uh, we found that, especially for the alloy carbides, such like M6C structure, the in our experimental temperature, um, the re ratio of the magnetic to total free energy, in our experimental temperature, the ratio is um, is a pro uh, a pro the uh, a pro is about one zero or 100%. So it means that the experiment, the external fields, um, the, ex the external fields dominate the, the precipitate of this uh, carbides. Uh, similar, similar to the M6C, the different such like M23C6. Uh, In our experiment about uh, uh, about uh, uh, eight to three, uh, this kind of temperature, the uh, ratio about M6, uh, this kind of carbides was greatly influenced by the field. Uh, we want to explain it um, from the um, nucleation. So uh, we found that the um, the nucleation rate was greatly influenced by the magnetic field, and um, lower the uh, bearing, uh, lower the um, bearing, the lower the activation energy, and finally the greatly decrease the magnetic field the deep free energy. So uh, we get a general, uh, get a conclusion that the high magnetic field can corresponds to the lowest change in magnetic deep free energy with the application of high uh, field. And the magnetic field induced magnetism exerts a uh, a deterministic influence on the stability of phases, including the matrix and carbides. There are uh, many, many things that remain unsolved. So the challenge is here. First principle calculation um, now is um, only uh, focused on the absolute temperature, not including the external field. Um, the second one is um, it's very difficult for us to abstain the pure carbides. The second one, no data for the magnet me mechanical properties due to the lim limited size in the magnetic field furnace. And uh, the fourth, the crystal structure evolution under the, the external field the fifth, 
quantitative driving force calculation under the magnetic field will be further will be further obtained or explanation will be further obtained. So now we are doing the uh, we will continue the this subject about the, the external field. Um, Professor Wu and uh, um, uh, Dr. Zhang and uh, I will continue this subject and with all of the students here, the doctors and the masters. So uh, very glad to be here to give our topic and uh, to sharing some interesting phenomena with all of you. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much for a nice talk. Very interesting topic. So uh, is there any question? Okay, please, uh, Amir. So please. Uh, Hu Tengping, uh, thank you very much. Nice to see you after so long. I have one Me question too. is that when do you apply this uh, magnetic field? I mean, is it applied throughout the heating and the cooling stage, or you just uh, switch on the magnetic field when it reaches to center, te center and temperature and hold it until the magnetic transformation or any other transformation is over? I mean, it, it's good to know that uh, when this magnetic field comes and goes. And the second question I have, I have no idea how much is one Tesla. So when we're talking about 12 Tesla, is it, a, is it a huge magnetic field or is it just a normal one? Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, the first one, when the... Uh, our experiment was isothermal uh, experiment. So during the isothermal heat treatment, such like um, such like uh, five thousand centigrade, the magnetic field was applied. And uh, um, after that, just during the isothermal uh, phase transformation, then the magnetic field was. Uh, will go. So we we uh, put it on the cooling, uh, on the um, salt cooling or, or different cooling. Uh, so this is the first uh, answer. The second, uh, the twelve Tesla is big enough or is much too too much big for the for for the test. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, for our experiment, our generally idea that one Tesla is good enough, is big enough for uh, for their uh, saturation. Saturation, um, but especially for the um, for our for the uh, carboys such like M six M twenty three six C, the magnetic field uh, was. Uh, mm, uh, was uh, um, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll um, get to about forty um forty mu b uh, forty mu b is about uh, uh, it's about twenty times than the than the magnetism of the fair, the pure uh, pure oil so. I think maybe just is is extraordinary phenomena in our um, special carboys. Uh, so it's not it's not that the the the, the higher the magnetic field the the, the 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 higher mechanical properties. It just uh, happens in our experiment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your thank, comments. Thank, thank, uh, thank you very much. Um, Hi, you know, it, it is possible to get um, ferromagnetic austenite 
if you any uh, if you alloy with uh, nickel okay so it would be interesting to look at transformations in ferromagnetic austenite mm. I, I think it's it uh, certainly okay it's possible to um for the nickel experiment thank you we expect that different from the um, iron matrix such like the nickel matrix uh, experiment so uh, i think i think um I think you don't need to add too much nickel. Uh, okay. You know, it's a combination of nickel and manganese, and then austenite becomes ferromagnetic. Oh, okay. A question, uh, Harry. Yeah. So we have already uh, have uh, annoy is content uh, six six percent manganese without the nickel and annoy uh, annoying it. Of course, we can do some experiment with the replacement of manganese uh, with nickel for the uh, mechanism for toughness and also for the strengthening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 good. And you know, Thank the you. interesting thing is that the expansion coefficient of the austenite will decrease yeah. dramatically. Okay, so yes, at, yes. The, at the moment it's much, much higher than ferrite, but if you make it ferromagnetic, then it becomes the same as ferrite. Yes, we have already results with, uh, with the magnetic uh, replacement with nickel. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so I wish to are... see you in Wuhan soon after the uh, boat open. Okay. <laughs> we, we look forward to seeing you Wuhan soon. Okay. Okay, so and the, uh, the other question is from Fabio. So please. Yes, can, I, can you hear me? Thank you for uh, your interesting presentations. Well, I have uh, just a remark uh, on uh, the final point uh, two of your presentation. I think it is quite possible to get uh, pure cementite uh, and pure egg carbide to have uh, you can get from people from the catalysis uh, scientific community without troubles there is a lot of people in china was working very 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 nice uh, results and uh, have another possible field of investigation so so try to have uh, a pure thermodynamic representation of different uh, iron carbides uh, and making them independent from cementite, it would help because in Calpha, you can, of course, insert some magnetic terms and then see which is uh, their influence uh, in the free energy, which is quite standard in Calpha. But the point is that you, you need uh, some uh, physical data that we should uh, try to obtain by experiments. So it's just a remark. Thank you for your, your interesting topic, which is, which is very, very interesting. Okay? As you see that we indeed um, uh, want to get some help, we, 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 we are sure that there must be some pure uh, cement, uh, pure carbides we can get uh, in China or, 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 or the, 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 the foreign uh, friends or the foreign group. And uh, the, the physical mechanism of the um, magnetic field influence on the on the matrix and all the carbides. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you so, very much. Thank you very much for your nice talk. So Professor Andre Paul. So oh it's time to over uh, it, it's come uh the time is over. Uh okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> thank you. As so well the for session. Chairing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for all speakers and all participants. So